being the oldest, <laughs> I remember uh, the first movie I saw in the theater was Return of the Jedi. And for me, that moment when Darth Vader's helmet comes off and you see a fat, sad little man underneath was incredibly traumatizing and also, mm. I, you know, just never forget that moment. And so, yeah, I grew up with my whole family, huge Star Wars fans. I was actually exposed to the merchandise before the movie, so I had all the action figures, toys, bedspread, and then I watched the prequels and then the originals mm. after. So uh, that was my Star Wars. Did you have the underwear job. as well? No, I didn't have that one. They had those? Yeah. Wow. I'll get you some. I actually did it that way as well. I did the prequels and then the sequels yeah. because of the, I guess we just missed that. 90s babies. Of, uh, yeah. Born 92. Born yeah. Born, yeah, 92. Born um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think going out to the stage then, it was suddenly like, yeah, wow. Yeah, because, because you yeah. can't imagine. No. Yeah. You can't really picture what it is until mm. you see 4,000 people. And also, I think, at least for me, I don't know if it was like this for you guys, but like getting cast and being in it, you kind of have to pretend exactly. almost like it's not yeah. that yeah, big yeah, and it's yeah. not a big deal. And it's, yeah. you know, you almost dimin you diminish it a little bit mm. just for yourself. Mm. But then you just can't fake it anymore. Yeah. When you get out there, it becomes a religious experience. Yeah, yeah. I also felt like we were a bunch of friends on set just yeah. shooting a movie that we passionately love. Yeah. And so it, the kind of massive kind of Star Wars kind of energy wasn't as exposed to us, but now it's real. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was more the noise for me because we were yeah. waiting backstage and you could just hear the like swell of the crowd. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it yeah. was unbelievable. Insane. And then watching it, watching the trailer with everyone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was amazing. Everyone was breathing like one organism. You know, yeah, we were yeah. all just yeah. on pins and needles. It was, yeah. Like I said, it was almost like a religious experience. Yeah. It brought me to tears. My heart was thumping, yeah. but not out of nervousness, just out of, I think, just pure the energy of the yeah. place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's my first time at any convention ever. Me too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I've, I've been to Comic Con and done whole Hall H. I, I know how kind of crazy it can be, but this. It's, it's, it's honestly a Especially because it's all focused to one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's all about Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. It's just another energy. Kind of going back to that idea that, you know, you, you forget about that while you're shooting it as mm. a necessity, yeah. but then to reconnect with that energy it mm. is exactly what it felt like mm. when yeah. I was little and you suddenly get exposed to it and uh, there's just something that's so infectious about it. Mm. 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 I think as a, as, a, as, as a group, like with Star Wars fans, there is always a feeling of hope. And it's something that we just saw there. So everyone yeah. just had a feeling of, you know, Star Wars is back. And, and also, we had that feeling the whole way through filming. Yeah. Like, there was yeah. never a day where we didn't have that feeling. So, mm. to have it kind of reflected back upon mm. us mm. to the people that we're making this for is the best. Insane. And Mark Hamill thinks that it best when he said family. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it really yeah. does feel like yeah. we're part, you know, it's part yeah. of a huge family. Because I think it is about family, ultimately. Yeah. The, mm. the stories are about family. Um, you know, like I said, that moment of Return of the Jedi, you know, where suddenly your father, who's this godlike mm. thing and intimidating, you, suddenly you realize that he's just a vulnerable man. Yeah. You know, that, I think the, the biggest thing about these movies is that it connects to the feeling of family. Yeah, and, and about finding your place within mm. a world that, like, Luke starts out, he has no idea where he's going to end up, and because of what he does, he becomes this kind of reverential mm. man in the universe, mm. and it feels like that. Recognize us, your potential. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think of any good sci-fi, the best sci-fi's have a, a fantastic human story mm. uh, wrapped around in obviously force-sensitive Siths and Jedi's. But it's it's something cool for everyone to relate to. We feel exactly like everyone else does yeah. because we, yeah. I haven't seen anything else. No, I've just seen the trailer and I just yeah. saw it like yeah. today. Yeah. So um, we're as excited as everyone else is. Yeah. So we just got a tamper. It's impossible to contain the excitement. Yeah. 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 It's, it's impossible. impossible to contain. It's impossible. But it's Especially nice filming now. every day. You have a yeah. new set that is actually there, obviously we're using practical effects, and it's insane to be in the Star Wars universe. I mean, mm. this is the closest I'm ever gonna be to be a real tra space traveler. So yeah. it's, uh, it's kind of insane to be uh -huh. part of that. Well, J.J. Abrams, who is is an incredible leader uh, and is able to infuse everyone, no matter who they are, mm. with excitement, and, um, and he's just incredibly kind. And, uh, you know, no matter what was happening, uh, he would always find time to speak with anyone, to, to show, yeah. to share things with uh, with all of us, uh, and really to share most of all his excitement. Because for me, this is the longest thing I've ever done <laughs> by far. So it was, I mean, I was so, so nervous at the beginning, but to feel that kind of like fatherly thing, as well as, yeah. like he balances it so yeah. well, so it's like caring and you know he's getting the best out of you mm. and the whole energy on set mm. was just mm -hmm. the best. I think that's the key there is that JJ brings out the best. Yeah. 
out of actors and that's for me like I remember I met JJ in 2011 and I'm a small movie called Attack the Block and I met him at his office and he walked past and he said to me we're gonna get you in something we're gonna get you in something a few years later it was Star Wars and you know it you know I had to work for it but it was obviously something from goodwill and yeah. a, a belief in he has a belief in his actors and mm. he, he really does have passion for the art of filmmaking and passion for song. I mean, the thing is, in life, which is sad, is it's usually a bad thing that unites people. So mm. to be part of something amazing that unites people, mm. all ages, genders, race, all languages, mm. they all come together for this one thing. It yeah. feels incredible to yeah. be part of. Yeah. 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 It's, you know, it's Star Wars created a culture. Mm. Uh, there's a whole culture around it, which is a, such an unusual thing. And, um, and a culture that transcends where mm. people are from, just like you said. Uh, so that's, that's pretty, pretty amazing to see those live feeds come in, those pictures yeah. from all across the world. Yeah, love. It's so uh, cool. And it's all universal. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!